This is Dr. Kavya Krishnappa, Fertility Consultant from Garbagudi IVF Center, Jayanagar. Today I'll be talking about IVF process step by step. The first and the foremost step is when a couple comes to us, we go through their detailed history. We ask them about every single thing about them. And also we ask about any other medical conditions or allergies. And also we might do a baseline scan for them. And after the routine blood tests are done, then we plan out the IVF cycle for them. So we call them for the next visit. That's the step two. So when we call them for the appointment on a day one or a day two scan, then during this period or for the day one and day two, we do a baseline pelvic scan wherein we look into the ovaries. Both the ovaries, the number of the follicles are seen and the follicles are measured. If most of the follicles are around the same diameter, and usually varying between 2 to 6 mm, then if you are happy with the number of follicles that are there and if there are no cysts, then we send for the blood test. So if the blood tests are fine, then we go ahead with the stimulation. So the stimulation, that is the step 3, which includes injections, the hormonal injections, which have to be taken at the same particular time every day. So the stimulation goes on for about 9 to 11 days plus or minus one day, depending upon the growth of the number of the follicles and the dead diameter. So in between the stimulation, we can call the women on alternate day. Every day the women will come and take the injections and we might as well call them for scan every third day or sometimes we call them on alternate day also for the scan. And sometimes we do ask for blood tests as well. So in the scans, we look into the how many number of follicles are growing, how much they are growing. And also by the blood test, we know about the raise in the hormonal levels, especially we test for estrogen levels and the LH hormone levels. So we give another injection known as antagonist and sometimes tablets are also given to prevent the follicles from rupturing early. That is before we do the egg pickup, we prevent them from ovulation. So once the follicles are ready. The next step comes here wherein we give the trigger injection. So we are happy about the size of the follicles. Most of them are mature. That is most of them are beyond 15 mm. At least most of them, three to four of them are beyond 17 mm. We give the trigger injection. So the trigger injection is given so that the mature process starts and luteinization which happens here with the follicles. So once the follicles are ready, after the trigger injection, we give a gap of one day. The next step is the egg pickup. So after a gap of one day, that is roughly about from the time of the trigger injection, we go about 34 to 36 hours. Then we do the egg pickup under anesthesia. So here the patient, our, after an overnight fasting, she comes to our hospital and under ultrasound guidance and under anesthesia, we do the egg pickup. So we aspirate all the follicles. From each of the follicles, we aspirate the egg and these eggs are given to the lab for further processing. In the lab, the next step happens, which is known as the fertilization. So after the oocytes are obtained, the embryologist will denude it and we do two process known as either IVF or ICSI. If we are planning for an IVF, we do not denude, that is the cells around the oocytes are not removed and the oocytes are kept in a petri dish around which around 75,000 of the sperms are left in the petri dish overnight for the fertilization process to happen naturally. If in case of an ICSI, what we do is the single oocyte is taken and the embryologist will select the sperms which are seen under electron microscope. They inject the sperm directly into the oocyte. This process is known as ICSI, that is intracytosplasmic sperm injection. So after this, after a few hours, the next day we will see how many of these oocytes are fertilized. That is the process of embryo has started in them. Embryo formation has started in them. And we look into the further process and then on a day three or a day five, these embryos into the uterine cavity, that is the endometrium cavity. If we do the transfer in the same cycle, it is termed as a fresh embryo transfer. Sometimes if we get more number of oocytes or if the hormonal levels are very high, we might plan to freeze the embryos what we have gotten and after a month or so, we might prepare the endometrium again and transfer these embryos on a day three or a day five. This is termed as a frozen embryo transfer. And if at all we have done a fresh embryo transfer, this next step comes here. So after two weeks after the embryo transfer with the progesterone supplements that we have given, we will ask the 
couple to come back to us and get a blood test done we know the serum beta hcg test in other words it's called a pregnancy test in simple terms these are the steps that we do in a ivf process thank you